our world needs space. That's the message from the 65th Annual International Astronautical Conference being held this week in Toronto. The topics of the conference include everything from space propulsion to the hunt for life in space to the economics of space travel and even space law. The IAC brings industry leaders from around the world to take part with the goal to push space development forward. And Canada is certainly well represented. We're here now with Canadian astronauts Jeremy Hansen and David St. Jacques. And Jeremy, let's start with a little bit of what all this is, the IAC. This is a pretty big conference. What's going on around us? Yeah, it's pretty impressive. It's the International Astronautics Congress. And so we're bringing minds from all around the world. Yesterday at the opening ceremonies, we had approximately 3,000 people here. So we have students, we have industry, we see all sorts of innovation. You look in this, you walk around this room that we're standing in, and you see all sorts of impressive innovation that's taking us forward into the future of space. So it's pretty exciting to, to witness Canada's had quite a proud history in all of this. Indeed, it's been 52 years now since our first satellite, and so we're one of the few you know, early spacefaring nations. And what we have to remember is that everything we do in space kind of comes back down to Earth. It's not only space is not only now the realm of government, it's also now the realm of private industry, private investment. So I guess we can you can say this is only going to get even better and better and more opportunities for Canadians. And the collaboration runs deep. As Major Paul Maskell explains, government, military and private industry all work together to operate a Canadian satellite launched last year designed to track potentially dangerous space debris. The software was actually launched in February of 2013 and right now it is active, working away, uh, probably imaging as we speak. Canadian industry is highly involved and there's a military hub in there as well too. Though on this day, the collaboration also had a twist of competition as the Canadian Space Agency hosted the amazing Canadian Space Race. We have representatives here of the leadership of Canada's space program. Today is a day of discovery. It's a day of hot competition. <laughs> <laughs> Team Hansen. Not so fast. <laughs> Team Saint Jacques. To all participants, good luck. The teams got their first tasks, but only once they cleared each hurdle could they move on to subsequent challenges. Any mini miny mo, catch a dragon by its toe, but if it hollers, don't let it go. The first task was to use a Canadian Space Agency simulator to catch a SpaceX spaceship. Soon it was time to hit the road with a challenge at the Department of National Defense obstacle course at Downsview Park, north of the city, to showcase the partnerships between the Space Agency, the DND, and research partners. The challenge pitted astronauts Hansen and St. Jacques head to head to see who could post the better time on the course. Jeremy's time, three minutes, 14 seconds. Winded but thrilled with the victory, Team Hansen got the head start for the next challenge, using next generation laser technology at York University. This laser imaging system is the same Canadian designed and built technology that will launch on a probe in September 2016. Finally, the last challenge, putting Team St. Jacques and Team Hansen head to head in the Weston Family Innovation Centre at the Ontario Science Centre. Their job? A true test of innovative design, they had to build and utilize a Mars lander in less than 15 minutes using only the materials at hand. What better than have real astronauts here trying an experiment that often we have for our visitors on how to land the pro on Mars. Touchdown. Touchdown. The winner is a David Kim. You get to experience the, the astronauts as, as people. Normally you see them sort of at the podium talking, lecturing, uh, teaching, and now you get to sort of experience them in a small group camaraderie type way, and that's something you don't get to do all, every day. We don't realize it, but it's part of our everyday life. Every day of our life we use a satellite at some point, and it's just part of our society. The excitement will hopefully continue into the future as the partnerships between the Canadian Space Agency and private industry continue. I'm Harrison Roos, and this has been a Sun News Network Special Report.